stuff. Okay, we can we can go. We're to ready the camp to head now. to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. I'm fine. No, no, an Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. Okay, she has Mintara's armor. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. <laughs> Hush you. And behold. Adoring applause. You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Yeah. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. I need to dance! No. No, I need to <laughs> lie down. A bit too much. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. Thank you. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. Uh -huh. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. Okay. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. I promise you, my offer is a perfectly sober one. So, what do you say? A lesson. And trust me when I say few have experienced the pleasure I offer to teach. Uh -huh. However, it's something best experienced in more intimate surrounds. Once the revelry has ended and the stillness of the night has been restored. For now, please enjoy the celebration. When it is done, I will show you all. Okay. I wonder what he's going to show me. Ah, there you are. Come it, now, it's the bard. Me. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. Why, you're naming, quite obviously. Uh -huh. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. Okay. Good. A wonderful one indeed. But your deeds loom larger than life now, my friend. You simply must have a title to match. Exactly wrong, my <laughs> exactly friend. Exactly wrong. I urge you to leave the fact finding to experts, hmm? Now, back to your revels. I have some details of your victory to rearrange. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. 
<laughs> I failed to see the problem. Then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. Hmm. I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. Uh -huh. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself. As enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Okay, Lysel is drinking. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us, you have promised your body to Gale. I've no doubt he's as seductive yeah. as he is oh, okay. succinct. Vlacketh demands of me no less. Hmm. If only I might lay claim to my proper trophy. Okay. Come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might <laughs> have tasted, for loving. how my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Is this everyone? Our numbers have grown so Hope you're enjoying the night, hero Ice. Cheers to many more like this. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now well, that I'm you here... didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. I hate it. This is awful. <laughs> we killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. <laughs> I'm just looking for a little more excitement. A little more excitement. A little more fun. You're fun. Mm. And what's your idea of little what fun? The hell's sex, passion, fun. A emptying people from their blood. Well, it's easy for some, of course. You and Gale seem to be getting on very well. Ah, uh, it's Gale now. I wonder if he uses magic in the bedroom. That could go very well, or very badly. <laughs> no, my love, I'm not jealous of the walking encyclopedia. <laughs> but you go ahead. How fun. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Gale. You two looked... cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. <laughs> but not what I mean. <laughs> I mean... Uh, me. <laughs> desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. 
We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? I won't keep you long. I gather you've already made plans with someone for your evening. Okay. There. Some liquid courage. And try to get some rest too, if you can. Tomorrow's another day. All right. So I, I wonder what happens if I'll charm. Last time, so I was back, eight. back class, and, and you magic up a kiss the beak. How was I supposed to know it was it made of fire? You make it spicy. You're right. <laughs> we have see, still the undead guy in the camp. Not this one, nor this one, and this one are less worthy still. Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Interesting. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Okay, so we can get hirelings through through this guy. Very well. It's only a one hundred. Impossible. Thy party is Ah full. okay. So we can actually go and go and I need a quick word. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Okay. Did I talk, talk with him already? Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. and fierce. That's more like it. How many goblins did we kill? Ten? Let's make it twenty. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. This might be Sounds like a bard. talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song yep. about you. Many many parts are finding inspiration from I the need bottom. An angle. Yes. Any ideas? One raunchy ballad coming up. 
<laughs> okay. I should be out there talking with them in just a moment. Maybe. That training dummy. All right, I suppose we are going to. I'd say, Blora. We did it talk to him already. Go on, do your rounds. But if they hand you something purple, don't drink it. I think they got into Ethel's potions. through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. I'm not. I'm glad they can celebrate before we've even got to the gate. Just like I'll be glad to be rid of them once we're there. Uh-huh. Okay. So what's here? Nothing? Alright. There's promise in patience, I assure you. Okay. Go to bed. Okay. Now now we skip the scene. Cut it out. That spell your, of yours is attracting mosquitoes. <laughs> ah, who's that? Oh, my! You startled me. I uh, it's miles away. Of course, of course. I was just practicing an incantation. does she's Mistra. she's mistra i can't quite describe it the need i sometimes feel to see her to draw the filaments of fantasy into existence no sculpture or painting could ever do her justice only the fabric that she herself is and embodies okay the weave mistra is all magic as far as i'm concerned she is all creation Oh, goddess of magic. All right, I understand. It is a kind of love, after all. At the very least, a most deep-seated passion. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. So, what's it's like wrong? music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. That is why I asked you to seek me out, to offer you a taste of such wonders. Would you like me to show you? Then follow my lead. Now happened. you. <laughs> Light of hand. Yeah, she can, she can do a arcana, so... Now, now I'm actually rolling pretty, pretty, pretty good. feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, 
Repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. Critical success. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. over Gale's palm, there's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You ah. are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Weave. That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. We can be kicking him in the gut. <laughs> Uh, you, you can be horrible with, with, with this game. To totally horrible. <laughs> uh, I suppose let's, let's go for the audience. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally... elation. Sorry. I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most... Pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. Depression. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Uh, uh, Good night. Uh, I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Okay. He he wasn't ready to kiss. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. Yeah, okay. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's okay, complicated. Where are, where, where are Moonrise the journey towers? specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Danger is my maiden name. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This okay. curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. Or you could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined temple of Saluna. Ah, it that, leads that to place. Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Nice. Long ago, 
A man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. Sounds rather ingenious. Hmm. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. True. I know Underdark is lethal. Underdark is my home. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow I Curse. Up, I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. His sound actually, voice actually changed, changed a bit, so probably recorded in a different time. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we Druids can play politics when necessary. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. we've quite the journey yeah, sure. ahead. Best get started. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That. That can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. <laughs> I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? 
ridiculous. Isn't it? I wonder if they are not infected with the mind flayer that falls, but something else. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Rescue Elvola. Laser of Benevolence. Okay, this is, this is basically a part armor. Part armor. I suppose we can we can go past the village here. <laughs> Light cell is showing off she can she can jump pretty far. No more goblins around. I, I think I during the early access I played this pretty troll trolly. As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight. Go away! <laughs> okay. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to join the fun. Ruined. Smash. Oh, smash you. Oh, no. Get out. Don't ah. let them half ogre in the making. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... So he can't cast. Breathing, despite everything. <laughs> Need to find a way forward. Way. 
skull head. Proficient with okay, so I have wrong boots. So it was all about boots. Pawn to cleric four. Ouch. Okay, she's angry. He's a bit distracted now. Can't stay idle. Unlucky situation for all. What's hiding here? Okay, they had some kinky fun here. Actually, yeah, pretty okay. Okay, it's great. Great. Broken cupboard. Well, that kind of happens when the horses. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to continue that thought. Let's see what this does. So that must be their camp or something. Decker plus one. Wow. Plus one decker. A beast fit for an ogre. I wonder why. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough leathery meat. Dagger is tightly embedded in the carcass. You notice nothing unusual. This is not. Oh, it, it did work. I was thinking that it, it wouldn't, but 
Yeah, sure. Twist and turn. Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Magical dagger. So it's plus one dagger. as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. Okay. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Uh huh. A bit, bit like Ele Minister. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. Ah, blackmail. I could fix it all like that. Like that. Take all the time you need. Everyone approves. But make yes, up your we need mind to think about before this. you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, 
borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Without delay. So we need the shovel. Shovel. Despite everything. Something good here, I hope. Cheese and wine. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. I wonder what. These reeks of brimstone and awful. Every breath is thick with blood. Okay. No. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying ah. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. Oh no, that's a canola. That was pretty gruesome birth. No time 
to waste. Is there no corner of this plane they don't infest? No, not really, no. <laughs> Let's move. The smell of blood will draw trouble. Hyena air here. Rip cage. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Oh no, more, more of them. Okay. Ah, uh, this knows. Okay, that was a bad idea. Critical. I won't give in. I'll strike you down. Swift as my feet can carry me. Flesh or taking position. Okay, that's that's fine. Another a dull moment. 
coming. What path lies before me? I am fury. I am death. an encounter good good thing we manage Another step forward. Okay, he had two years. Okay. Mm. Ashes. Hyena ear. I think this is the first long sword in this game. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Oh, action, not reaction. Uh, pretty okay, but it's not magical. It's, it's not magical, but it's cool. Wish to live in more interesting times. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Uh-huh. Let, let's do some mind reading. Anticipation. She is testing you somehow. About Raphael. Actually... Yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an eh. effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. I think we need to fight him at some point. I was. 
He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Well... Perhaps you have a point. Fine. Let's explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it. Maybe it will bring us closer. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. Not really. <laughs> Yes, they offer you an apple, but they're the worm that lurks within. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. But if there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. Quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Admittedly, it's an area in which I have a modicum of expertise. Yeah. And, based on the evidence before us, it's hard to imagine any other motivation. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. such fraught times as these. There's peace to be found in the stillness as evening draws in. I used to while away many hours just like these with my companion. And in far comfier surrounds. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. Not everyone is comfortable being alone with their thoughts. Though I never felt alone with a book in my hand. Or with her for company. I speak of Tara. My Tressen. Assistant. My constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She well, he is at, at least such fun at me doing it. The savior of those poor tieflings, no less. And I've given her precious little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable, wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I'd given up on myself, but Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. 
she has a good heart. You should recognize the same in your actions here. But I'm sure she'll approve of me lending dead. myself to your efforts. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. Remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. <laughs> I hope. But look, and <laughs> that's what I'm actually new in these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a ten day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your. Uh, don't don't musk. remind me. Huh. Actually, rather like it. Well, this seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. Were I to recite that list, I fear we'd be here at dusk tomorrow. Many things, I assure you. But a conversation better saved for another time. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue... ...excitement. Go, enjoy your evening. Nothing better for the heart than a good night's rest. And mine is gladdened to know I'll have the pleasure of your company again come morning. Okay, plot is beginning. That that one again. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Yes. Okay, he's, he's correct. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The you were source. lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. Yeah, th it this is, is what, what we already saw and obey. kind of figured out by when uh, the order ourselves. order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So why are they not Mind Flayers? It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Uh -huh. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, 
I seek to be free of it. Uh -huh. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom well, that, depends that on is it. A, is a plan. setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Meaning? It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic after all. Uh, maybe not. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Okay, let's not do this. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Here we go. Interesting. 